In 1976, a young girl came to my home. She'd been riding her horse by a bridge that is off of Highway 56 in Florida. And she says that her horse was attacked by a large furry creature. There were four scratches on the back of the horse. Later that night, she says that while her friends and her were having a slumber party, they heard knocking on the windows. The next day, I went back to the bridge to investigate. The bridge is in a large wooded area. I went off to the side of the bridge and back down towards the Longer River about a quarter mile, half mile, and began playing in the water, looking around, when all of a sudden, I saw this large furry creature about seven, seven and a half feet tall. I saw the creature, the creature saw me, and then I ran like hell. I never did get to go back to see the creature again, but many people in that area had seen this Bigfoot or skunk ape as the local people called it. And there were rumored to be several there in the East Orange County area there in Florida. There's rumored to be a family of Bigfoots between Gainesboro in Jackson County, Tennessee and Livingston in Oberlin County, Tennessee in the area known as While I haven't personally seen a Bigfoot in this area, many people have. And there's actually a, an official Bigfoot headquarters as the local community becomes more and more fascinated with Bigfoot and the skunk apes. Uh, in this case, in the Oberlin County, Jackson County area, the Bigfoot seems to be friendly to the local population, uh, unlike other areas where the Bigfoot may not be so friendly. The Bigfoot seems to uh, be a, a creature that uh, hunts at night. He seems to be a carnivorous uh, meat eater. He uh, seems to try to stay away from humans, but will on occasion venture into the human habitat uh, in search of, of food. In many cases, uh, he seems to be aggressive, but this may be because man is getting too close to uh, his habitat and his family, and he's just defending his home turf. In a lot of cases, Bigfoot seems to be a uh, mild uh, type of creature. Well, no one's ever seen a, a Bigfoot breed, uh, but many people assume that since the Bigfoot is has human-like qualities that they breed and mate much like humans, having one mate for life. Seeing as the Bigfoot is basically considered to be of the, the ape species and much like man, I think it is possible and maybe even probable that Bigfoot could mate with a human being and create an offspring that is a, actually a, a, a person or a creature that is part man and part Bigfoot or skunk ape, which would actually cause man to evolve back to what many people feel man was, which is the ape. There have been stories of people befriending the Bigfoot and Bigfoot families and trying to clothe them, humanize them. And there's even a, a, a story uh, as far-fetched as it may sound, of a woman that swears uh, to come from a uh, human Bigfoot type relationship. Um, I'm not going to say it's impossible to find a Bigfoot, befriend it, and humanize it. Uh, I just wonder that uh, if the Bigfoot, at where it is in its evolutionary state, whether it's ready to be humanized uh, like uh, the humans of today, or whether it's a predatory uh, animal instincts would be the more dominant uh, determination of its behavior. Well, I'd say a half Bigfoot would uh, walk erect like a man, but would have the large forehead, much like an ape, and have the uh, arms and legs more of an ape than a man, which would give it the ability to travel at high speeds, and climb trees, and hunt wild game. A lot of people say they haven't seen a Bigfoot, or no one's seen a Bigfoot, or no one's captured a Bigfoot, but I think it's one of those cases where we don't want to see it, so we don't see it. 
if we were actually looking for it and ready to accept that there are some creatures that are man-like but still in, a, in, a, in an ape-like state and very predatory, uh, we'd be able to see more of the Bigfoot and learn more about him. I think the reason some people don't go out with guns and shoot this thing is because it's easier for them to say the Bigfoot does not exist as long as they don't shoot one, kill one, and have one. They know it doesn't exist. Humans and man like to feel they are the dominant species of the world and that things like the Bigfoot do not exist and if they capture it then it does exist and then man has to acknowledge that there's a possibility that the Loch Ness Monster, life on other planets, and being superior to us exist and man doesn't want to accept that or go down that road.